finally, finally here at Walking Dead. Me and PJ are playing. I just got um, a $30 bonus, and then we just got that one from Michonne. So PJ seems to be my lucky charm on Walking Dead. Let's see if that money lasts, or will it be a big fat zero? We'll find out. Oh my God, the horror of F1 has left. We ca I came in last night and the barriers were still up on this sidewalk, but now there are no barriers. The Bellagio sidewalk is open. There are trees. We can see clear across. Things are back to normal. The horror of F1 has left the strip. Oh, look, it's like old days. It's like the old days. I love it. Yes, bye bye F1. By the way, at the moment, we, um, we are heading down the strip. Um, Paul is over there, PJ. There he is, there's PJ filming. Um, we're, hello! Hello hey. there you! Hey! He's my good luck charm because we were just playing um, Walking Dead at Cosmo and for the first time in a million years, we got Those a bonus. Nice. Uh, they're lovely, darling. Um, we actually got a bonus and a re-trigger bonus and we've been playing in the Cosmo off $20 really? each for about, I don't know, three quarters of an hour? Yeah, maybe you yeah. got a couple of cocktails. Could be, yeah, a couple of cocktails, so it's all good. But we are actually supposed to be at Fontainebleau, as I will continue to call it, at three o'clock to meet everyone. And we're running a little bit late, but we we might make it. We might make it. 40 minutes, Yeah, we'll do it. I'm just admiring this. It's just beautiful. Trees. We have trees! Yeah, I was here in August. This was all dug up. There were rumours they were going to turn it into a Bellagio-style fountain. They haven't, but I don't think they should. It's all clean, it's all nice, and it's classic Caesars. I like it. Good job. Okay, we are entering. Fontainebleau, as I was, con I will continue to call it Fontainebleau. And I figured I'd better start taping because over there is Paul, PJ. And behind me over there is Matt Bates, Black Country Vlogger. And they're all vlogging. So I thought, well, if they're all vlogging, I should probably be vlogging. And there's, there's Daniela and Michael. Are you excited? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, to be sure. And we are about to enter Fontainebleau. Although I think you're supposed to say Fontainebleau, but I'm not going to. And this is, uh, I think we've been waiting about 15 years for this place to open. And in we go. Oh look, vloggers videoing vloggers, look out. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, it smells nice. First impression, it smells really nice. This is like the crazy, weird, Crazy, weird, moving, art installation, freaky thing with no particular purpose, but it's good. I'm trying to think what it smells like. I'm trying to think of other casinos and what it smells like, but it smells really fresh. It looks really nice. It looks like it's brand new. It does. It's amazing. It looks really new. You'd think it had just been opened, wouldn't you? It does smell good. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing will be to try out the machines and find out if they're really tight to pay for this uh, incredible creation. Or, oh, there's a cocktail waitress. Oh, oh, we've just spotted a cocktail waitress. That's a good sign. But yeah, is it going to be a case of the slots are really bad because they've got to pay for it? Oh, there's some amazing central bar thing up there with a chandelier, which I'm sure we'll go to later. But I would like to play a slot. There she is. Look, there's a cocktail waitress. Go. So here we are at Fontebleu. Fontebleu by the big chandelier bar thing in the middle, which is really pretty and the high ceilings are really nice. And I'm doing okay on Coyote Moon. I started on $20. And there's a thing, if you get 25 points, you're gonna get 15 free play. I just got a bonus, I've nearly doubled up. And over there are Michael and Danielle and Paul, PJ Slots and Entertainment, and PJ just doing stuff. 
and somewhere around, I don't know where, but somewhere, um, are Matt, Black Country Vlogger and Jane. But we are having the best time. We are having so much fun. Merry Christmas from Fontainebleau. Fontainebleau. That's how we say it. Danielle keeps hitting bonuses. She's on fire. I am loving my day here. And when we finished here, we go to the Strat and we jump. But in the meantime, Coyote Moon. Update from the Fontainebleau toilet. I just got my bum flushed. I got my bum flushed. Oh my word, we've just come to Fontainebleau and we've just found this. So there's like, well, there were lots of macarons, but now they're all on that plate because we're taking them. And then there's pastries and there's chocolates and there's fancy plates and there's nice cutlery and there's fancy napkins. Oh my God, there's loads of stuff. And really fancy toilets through there as well. And this is the Fontainebleau high limit room. And in a minute we're gonna get thrown out. So um, we better eat and leave. Here we go, up on the track, getting ready to do the rides. Look at that, level with the helicopters. That's what you call a view. That's a view. Okay, we need to go over there and get on X Scream and then get up there and go on Big Shot. See you soon. Yay, my favorite guitar game has been broken. They fixed it. I got a progressive. I love this game. Hello, I'm getting ready to go out and I thought it'd be a good idea to have a drink to take with me. And because lovely PJ gave me vodka and Kahlua and rum charter to make a lovely cocktail in the PJ cocktails cup, I thought, well, I'll make one in there later, but I brought these. Look at these, zombie brain juice, yeah? And so they come in a bag, and then you get your little funnel that comes with it, and then you get your drink, and you pour it in the funnel, and then it goes in the bag. And then you could squish it into your bum bag when you go out, and then you've got a drink with you. It's good, huh? Zombie brain juice. I'm so classy. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's four o'clock on Saturday morning, December the 23rd, and uh, everybody else is asleep. So uh, I'm going out, I'm gonna go and look at the Bellagio Conservatory in a minute. Um, but I just found, right next to my room, are the exit stairs. So I thought, why not try them? So that's what I'm doing. These ones don't feel spooky. The pyramid ones were spooky. These ones aren't spooky. Okay, we're coming to the end. Where do we come out? Oh, it's cold. Am I outside? Wait, wait, I'm outside. Oh, look, look at this. It brings me straight outside. Oh, that's cool. Right, I'm off to Excalibur then, yay. So um, I was going to stop in Excalibur and wherever, but I thought, no, I'm in a Christmassy mood. I'm looking for Christmassy things. So look at that. That's the Christmas tree in Crystal's shop. Shops. And um, the things that are hanging, I'll zoom in. There you go. Things that are hanging on it. I mean, this thing is ginormous. They are... Um, Swarovski crystals according to Danielle who's the leading expert in everything and I can't remember how many she said there were but I think she said something like 10,000 but very Christmassy oh look there's Christmas trees up there too and then there's Christmassy things over there and then if you look down there there's more Christmassy things. There you go, a tour of Christmassy things in Vegas, headed for Bellagio. That's the most Christmassy of Christmassy. See you soon. Almost at Bellagio, just about to go in. Now look, I know I do this every time, but I can't help myself. You see, Vegas gets busy. 
Vegas gets crowded. Here I am in the centre strip. Oh, isn't it busy and crowded? It's hard to get anywhere or see anything. Just come out at half four in the morning. Everybody goes to bed. Look, look, you have it all to yourself. You can see Vegas with no interruptions from annoying people. Just saying. Anyway, I'm going in Bellagio to look at their lovely Christmas conservatory. See you soon. And another thing, that's a beautiful sight to see the Bellagio fountains with no construction from F1 and trees back along the front and an open sidewalk. Yay! It'll be fine for another six or seven months until they start F1 all over again. Grr. Right, I'm going in. Just about to go into the conservatory at Bellagio, but before I go in, look at this lovely display on their reception area. Look at this. They always do their reception area so nicely. That's very festive. Very festive indeed. Sparkly bells. They're twinkling in the morning light. Okay, I'm going to the conservatory. Here we go then, Bellagio Conservatory. Yeah, I know, everyone films it. I'll try and be brief. Ah, oh, look at the polar bear, he's cute. Oh, this is pretty. This is very Christmassy. Oh, it smells Christmassy. It smells of pine. It smells lovely. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it pretty? Oh, look, there's a ballerina. I could do that. I just don't want to. I could definitely do that. Look, I could, I could pirouette like that. After a few, few white Russians, maybe I will. And that's a very, very, very big Christmas tree. Oh, look, there's a giant nutcracker man. That's cool. Very, very cool. Very cool indeed. And over here, we have, who's this? What's she doing? Is she Sleeping Beauty or something? I don't know. Oh, look, more ballerinas. And a lovely, lovely polar bear and a pretty chandelier. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. A very festive display. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm going to gamble now. That's enough of that sort of thing. So, you know this game, Chica Bonita, for ages, been trying to work out what it is she says when she pops up, and I bet she doesn't pop up now, but I've decided she's saying dinero quiero, which means I want money. I'm sure that's what she's saying. And now I'm like waiting for her to say it and she's not going to pop up again, is she? <laughs> but I tell you, when she says it, when she says it, it's Dinero Quiero. See? Dinero, Dinero Quiero. I want money. That's what she's saying. See, I come into Bellage, I was getting my backside handed to me. I come to my mate Simon South's Tiki Fire. I got all my money back. Nice. we go it's 9 a.m. on Saturday the 23rd and we've made it down to win we didn't intend to make it down to win I was going to Bellagio and then uh, Danielle and Michael got up and joined me and since then we've been on a tour of the strip uh, stopping in at Casino Royale which uh, I don't care what anyone says I love it they got their $20 free play uh, we ordered some white Russians and she actually bought us white Russians instead of two so um, yeah we're quite merry for breakfast time um, then we went through Venetian because I'd heard that Palazzo had cookies so we went on a food raid and filled a carrier bag full of white chocolate chip cookies and sweets and um, snacks and we've had those for breakfast and uh, now we've ended up at Wynn so um, yeah it's been an interesting and unusual morning Let's see where it takes us next. There's Michael and Danielle. Let's go in. So seeing as we started today on a Christmassy theme, we're now at Wynn. So I thought we should have a look at their lovely display of poinsettia. It's really good colors actually. Interesting, interesting mix. And then like the little, little villagey, I don't know. What the hell that is? I don't know, gingerbread house or what's that say? I can't read that, I've got my glasses on. Anyway, 
And so this is the win. I'm being very festive. I don't know what that says. And this is the win festive display. So, um, yes, I think that concludes today's tour of uh, festive displays in Las Vegas. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>